We've been hearing a lot about war lately in the news, and we need to keep all of those people in Ukraine and Russia, everyone involved, we need to keep them in our prayers because war is never a good thing. But did you know that we are all involved in a war every day? I wanna to talk to you about the spiritual war that's going on in your morning cup of inspiration. When I was in high school, there was a song by Edwin Starr, it was called War, and it said, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. It said it has one friend, and that's the undertaker. And we just, war is a horrible, terrible thing. But you know, Satan is the one who would kill and steal and destroy. And he ultimately, in his evil powers and his evil schemes, is the author of war. But we need to be on our knees as he is fighting us every day. We read about it. He's attacking us in Ephesians chapter 6, beginning in verse 12. It says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle against principalities, which stands for spiritual dark powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, and ye, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. And then it goes on to say that we need to make sure that we have our loins girt about with truth, and having the breastplate of righteousness, truth. We find truth in God's word. We need to live rightly. That helps to protect us and give us strength against Satan's onslaught. And your feet should be shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's what we preach. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation. Think about that, the helmet of salvation. Satan wants you and I to think that there's no hope, that we're not saved, that God hasn't forgiven us. We need that helmet to protect our mind. That's where he attacks. And we stand on our salvation. And the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And then here's the key, verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. That word supplication means earnestly asking God for something, earnestly seeking him. Are you earnest in your prayers? How much time do you spend in prayer each day? Do you think a minute or two in the morning and a minute or two at night, or just a simple asking grace, asking God to bless our food before each meal, is that enough? Boy, in the times we live, we need to spend earnest time before God. I'm going to ask you to commit with me to spend at least a half hour a day in prayer. That's 15 minutes in the morning. Start your day off with prayer and 15 minutes at the evening as we end our day. Could you do that? Can you give God a half hour? Watch what he'll do in your life. Watch what he will do in our world. God bless you and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.